Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narc's nemesis. For those of y'all that are watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to more people. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is in the description. Also, if you want to donate to the channel, the link is in the description. My new single, Superstition, it is available on all streaming platforms and available on the channel. The performance video is available on the channel and it is about my narcissistic experience and overcoming it. And it also features a voicemail of my ex-narc trying to hoover me and I ain't going for it. First off, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping me reach 30,000 subscribers. Um, it's been a hell of a ride. Um, still working on myself. I'm still healing. I appreciate, um, you know, all the support. I appreciate people letting me be myself. I appreciate people not projecting their thoughts and fears onto me. Um, Man, I posted a picture not too long ago, and it was of me and a young lady, and everybody just seemed to, I, I'm actually disappointed, but you know, it is what it is. Everybody's first thought was, oh, well, that must be his ex-narc. He must have ran back to his ex-narc or whatever the case is. And that was just disappointing. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say about that. I'm very disappointed that y'all would think so low of me to think that, that that's just the first thought. And, you know, y'all tried to crucify me in the comments, but I ain't going for it. But anyway, I appreciate everybody for allowing me a space to not only heal myself, but to help heal other people. And I appreciate y'all tuning in. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the feedback. I may not get back to everybody all the time, but it is always appreciated. So I just want to thank y'all for the 30K. Let's go to 50. Um, today, I'm going to talk to y'all about the narcissist doesn't think you'll leave them. They have created such a delusion, such a false self, such a confidence in not only being able to abuse you, but to keep you under the spell to allow you to further be abused. They've gaslit you. They've lied to you. They've cheated on you. And they convinced you that the reason why they do these things is because you're inadequate. Let me tell you something. Nothing puts a smile on my face more than leaving somebody who doesn't think you'll leave them. Because people are sadly mistaken, especially narcissists. They think that no matter, because of the because of the behavior that you've shown in the past, this is why it catches them off guard. And I try to get y'all to be the ones that leave these individuals instead of waiting because you're trying to get your emotions in order. And then you end up being the one that's, uh, that ends up being discarded. Because a lot of y'all knew early enough to do the discarding, but you couldn't get your emotions in order and you ended up being discarded. That hurts worse. So nothing puts a smile on my face, especially knowing that I left my situation and she wasn't expecting it. She uh, she had no idea it was coming, you know, and if she did, she ain't moved fast enough. So they don't think you'll leave because you've put up with so much. You got to understand, you teach people how to treat you. That's why you need to check disrespect at the door. When people first do shit, you need to let the, hey, I don't appreciate that. And if their reaction to you telling them that you don't appreciate something wrong that they've done to you is defense and, you know, they get all, oh, well, it's because, of, nah, it ain't because of shit. 
I don't appreciate what you did. And if we're going to continue, you need to correct it. And not only correct it, you're going to make up for it. Now, I'm not saying you do this with a damn narcissist, but I'm saying a general, a generalization of how people need to treat you. You need to set the standard. I don't give a fuck how cute they are. I don't give a fuck how handsome he is. None of that. <clears throat> you need to set the standard on how people treat you. Because you are training them, whether you know it or not, how to treat you, what to do and what not to do, where your soft spots are, where your hard spots are, whatever the case is. Do not tolerate disrespect from anybody. Um, you do not, you're, you're teaching them how to treat you. You've been putting up with such behavior for so long they've been lying gaslighting they've been calling you out your name they've been cheating you calling with this guy you done caught him with that girl you done found out he got a baby on the side she done had a baby all that bullshit and you done stayed and i understand a lot of it is out of love and all that good stuff there but ain't enough love in the fucking world to let somebody keep disrespecting you especially when you know you ain't supposed to be there because we try to play like, oh, well, if I would have known this sooner. No, if you would have listened sooner. Because we all knew. Some of y'all knew two kids ago. Some of y'all knew three anniversaries ago. Some of y'all knew three side bitches ago. Some of y'all knew three side dudes ago. That you should have been gone. You knew when y'all got into it at the family reunion. You knew when your family told you don't bring that motherfucker back to their house no more that you should have been gone. You knew when your brother had to kick his ass, you should have been gone. You knew when your sister had to kick her ass that you should have been gone. 